The question is that the motion be agreed to. The member for Ryan. Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. You have heard the truism many times before. Small business is the engine room of the Australian economy. And I am proud to be part of a coalition government which values and supports the aspirations and hard work of private enterprise. Equally, I am proud to be part of a government which is investing a record $200 billion in the Australian Defence Force capabilities. As we on this side of parliament know, increased investment in strategic policy environments drive economic and employment growth. With our government's already record jobs growth achievements, I look forward to the added benefits that will bring. The Ryan electorate is home to Gallipoli Barracks, Australia's second largest defence base, and also a short drive to Raf Amberley. With a large contingent of veterans and retired servicemen and women, the Ryan electorate is also home to a number of niche businesses partnering with our defence industry. The coalition government is investing in our defence industry, creating jobs all around Australia. To demonstrate the significance of small to medium enterprise <coughs> involvement in defence projects, I refer to BAE Systems Australia and their contract to build the nine anti-submarine warfare frigates. BAE has already pre-qualified more than 550 companies, small and medium enterprises, in their supply chain around Australia. It is a national project and included in these 550 companies are 57 from Queensland. These are 57 local companies employing local workers and making a significant contribution to our economy. There are 4,000 jobs directly attributable to the project and in the direct supply chain. Closer to my electorate of Ryan, I refer to the announcement of Ryan Mittal as a successful proponent to deliver Australia's new combat reconnaissance vehicle, the Boxer, for Land 400 Phase II mounted combat reconnaissance capability. During the 30-year life of the vehicles, Australian industry will deliver two-thirds or $10.2 billion of the acquisition and sustainment, which will create up to 1,450 jobs right across Australia. As a former serviceman himself, Ryan Mattal Defence Australia's Managing Director, Mr Gary Stewart, a local Ryan resident, understands the importance and contribution that specialist small and medium businesses have for his company's large defence project. The coalition is growing Australia's defence industry, and we are ensuring that companies like Brisbane-based Hallmark Trailers will get that work. Hallmark Trailers will build 800 trailers in Brisbane as part of the Trucks, Trailers and Modules contract that was recently announced. Also consider Varley Group Australia's joint venture with Israel's Rafael for the Spike LR2 fifth generation missile system, manufactured and supported in Australia for the Land 400 program. We are literally opening doors for Australia's businesses to engage in opportunities never before seen. Mr Deputy Speaker, I have not mentioned Labor's contribution to defence during my speech because, well, there's nothing to mention. Under Labor, spending on defence dropped to 1.56 per cent of GDP, the lowest since 1938, and the lowest since the last year of appeasement. Because of the coalition's management of the budget and the economy, we will achieve 2 per cent of GDP in 2020, a year ahead of schedule, a year ahead of what we had promised. It is simply because we are pulling our weight. We want to be a good ally and we want to look after Australia's national interests. The Leader of the Opposition's war on business is a war on jobs. His war on business is a war on growth. And his war on business is a war on the Australian economy. It is also a war on family businesses and small and medium enterprises and a war on wages. Significantly, the manufacturing of parts and service offerings of Australia's small businesses are not only for use for our homegrown defence industry, but also demonstrate a huge export potential. Again, investment in industry by the coalition is a core tenet of good economic management and ensures that Australian small businesses have a large, big impact. Australia's defence industry has a range of world-leading capabilities and is well positioned to meet our current and future capability needs. The Coalition Government is ensuring that our ADF, whether it is the Army, the Air Force or the Navy, has the capabilities to keep us safe in the 21st century. To do this, we rely on the skills and expertise of Australian small businesses, and I encourage all of them to explore opportunities to supply their products and services to the ADF. I thank my colleague, the Member for Fisher, for this motion and look forward to working with Queensland counterparts to encourage and grow private sector involvement 
in the defence industries. I commend this motion to the House. Thank the member for Ryan. The question is that the motion 